Yes, Lord, we live, man. Been a minute, man. I had to come back and tap in with y'all, bro. But I saw some stuff that I was just, I just I had to speak on. I felt like I had to speak on. Um, so this big thing right now is uh, they call it the Great Res- Res- Resignations. The the Great Resignation is a basically a new movement uh, for Gen Z millennials, basically quiet quitting and things like that and dropping out of the workforce and feeling like work is a scam and things like that and um i'm not gonna belabor the point of uh of of laziness saying like that because i feel like that's the i mean it's been perpetuated so much that it's not even really a point of like kind of piling on top of that like it's just you feel how you feel about it but what i do want to say is something that not a lot of people are thinking about and um if you consider yourself to be dropping out of the workforce or if you feel like you're Gen Z and work is a scam and you're currently kind of like living off your parents, I really want y'all to think about this because, you know, I had a uh, one of my first sergeants when I joined the Marine Corps said something um, very like it always res- resonated with me is basically he said that very seldom in life do you ever make a decision that affects just you. More often than not, when you make a decision, it affects you and someone near you or inadvertently it affects someone who's in your vicinity or who's close to you, something like that. And um, I think a lot of people who are who are just living at home and uh, failing to launch and, you know, choosing not to work and participate and doing all this stuff that we've been talking about. Y'all got to understand, bro, that like your parents even if your parents are well off, let's say for sake of argument, let's say that your mom is a doctor. Um, a, let's, let's say your mom's a registered, registered nurse and your dad is a uh, surgeon, right? And they making buku dollars, right? I'm talking about, let's say they bringing in $600,000 a year, right? Which is not far-fetched for those two uh, professions combined. You can make a lot of money depending on, you know, what's going on. So, Let's just say that's that's your situation, right? And you're 22, 23, and you know you're saying, you know what, working is a scam. I can't have the American dream anyway. The interest rates are crazy. I can't get a house. So you just say, you know, I'm gonna drop out. I want I want y'all to understand something, bro. Money is not a bottomless pit. When you see athletes go broke after they they leave the NFL, when you see rappers go broke after selling millions of records, when you see Actors go broke after making 20, 30 million dollars on movies and shows and all this other stuff. Money is not a bottomless pit. And if you aren't smart with your money, you will, it's, it, it's easy to get, it's hard to keep. And if your parents are in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s taking care of a fully grown adult, the money that they're spending on you, they could be putting towards their retirement. Because let me tell you how things work, right? If you're making six hundred thousand dollars a year, you're not living in a in a three hundred thousand dollar house. You're not. More than likely, if you're making six hundred thousand dollars a year, you're probably don't mind as much. You're probably gonna make somewhat. You're probably you're probably gonna live in. Let's 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 be conservative and say they're staying in a one point five million dollar home. Maybe one point eight. Right. If they're staying in a one point five million dollar home, you're not gonna drive. A, a fucking 2008 Honda Civic. Let's say, conservatively speaking, that they have about, mm, let's say, fifteen hundred dollars in uh in cardinal uh, payments a year. <laughs> you got this expensive house, cardinal payments. You think they're shopping at Walmart or some cheap? Hell, nah. They going to Whole Foods. So let's say now with how much things cost, you add another fifteen hundred dollars a month on groceries that they're also feeding you. And all this other stuff. What I'm what I'm getting at here is that when you compound all this together, and you have all this money that they're putting into their regular day to day life, and you, that money's not going to last forever. So you're all but guaranteeing that your parents, if they're taking care of you, and you're they're allowing you to sit in the house, or even if your parents aren't taking care of you, even if you're out on your own, but every week you're asking for money, you're looking for handouts, you essentially are a a liability with no return on the money they're giving into you. You see, I could go buy a a car that depreciates in value by like sixty fucking percent in like the first four years of me having it. But I could sell that car and get something. 
there's literally nothing that they get out of taking care of a fully grown adult. Now, you could say, oh, well, I could take care of them when they get old. With what? You see, the time that you spend now not working, that you're not building your resume, the less you could warrant in the job market. So, when it gets to the point when you're uh, 25, I mean, when you're 35, 40, and all that other stuff, if you only have six or seven years of legitimate work experience, even with a degree, you're not even gonna you're not even gonna look attractive. First and foremost, the first question out of that employer's mind is, "What the fuck was you doing all of your 20s? That's the first thing they're gonna say. And then on top of that, like you don't have the skills developed. Like you can you can try to take care of them just you know looking after them stuff like that. But they're gonna need food. They're gonna need money. And also, <laughs> let me tell y'all something that y'all may not know. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know, bro. The medical expenses that come with getting old are expensive. Y'all know how much it costs to get a gallbladder removed? Y'all know how much it costs to, well, what else is very common? Uh, hip surgeries, replacements, all this other stuff. The money that your parents are putting into you as a grown, fully grown, able bodied adult is coming out their pockets to take care of them when they get hurt or when they get sick when they're old. So, I, again, bro, the decisions that we make very seldomly only affect us. So, I want to say this, bro. If you are dropping out of the labor market and you're dependent on your parents to take care of you and you're 20, 25, 30 years old because they're out there. I know a couple of them. Understand that you're not just affecting you. You're not just saying, hey, fuck the system. We can do without. No, bro. You are affecting a lot more than just you. So if you're if you're okay with knowing that your mom or your dad even know that they did the most they could do with you and they worked hard to take care of you and they're not gonna retire because you're being lazy, if that's okay with you, then hey, knock yourself out. What what's the what's the go to shit? I didn't ask to be here. <laughs> It'd be crazy to me that like grown adults are saying that shit, bro. Like for I like I said shit like that when I was like thirteen, bro. You fucking twenty five. I didn't ask to be here. Like. <laughs> It's craziness, but like what I'm, what I'm getting at, bro, is that y'all y'all really have to really understand that the decisions you make and don't just affect you. They don't. So even if you don't want to have kids, even all that stuff, you thinking that your your decisions are only yours. And here's the thing: your parents aren't. I mean, they're not absolved. That's their fault. They should kick you the fuck out. They should let you kind of like figure shit out on your own and not. So it's on them too. But you know, you gotta. I mean, help them. So, you know, that's just one thing I think nobody is really thinking about when it comes to this. Because it's already going to be hard for most people to retire anyway. And that scenario I just gave you, how many people really have rich parents? So most of the time, people are really, like, relying on their parents with average salaries. With average salaries. You're, you're depleting from somebody who doesn't have that much to begin with. But, I mean, it's just it's selfishness, bro. So, I'm just saying, like, that's one thing I just thought I, I wanted to... Because I didn't want to belabor the point about the laziness and the work ethic and all that other stuff. Listen, it is what it is. If it's not in you, it's not in you. I'm one of those people, I'm going to be honest with you, I talk bad about it. I like to motivate, you know, and, and talk bad about sloth and laziness because I don't like it. But that being said, I kind of like... Whenever I see a, a, a 25, 20-year-old dude... Saying that he doesn't think that he should work 30 hours a week. I like it. You know why? Because that's my competition. There was a time. I, I like to relate everything to Marine Corps or martial arts. Because that's what I always think about. But there was a time. We had this thing called Corpus Course. It was basically like this course you got to go to. To pick up the next rank. And uh, I remember I was in a class with a couple of my friends. And they was like. Man these dudes from this other unit are soft bro. And I was like. Man be happy. He was like why? Because that's your competition to pick up sergeant. They looked, they was like, you're right. <laughs> that's my competition. So them dudes that's scared and, and I don't want to have to work 80 hours, none of that. Uh, shit. Cool. Cool. Hey, I ain't mad at you, gang. Go crazy. Matter of fact, yeah, get in the house, stay in that motherfucker. Don't do nothing. As a matter of fact, how about this? You shouldn't have to bathe either. Mm -hmm. Resumes. Resumes is racist. Don't do a resume. Do all that shit, bro. Go crazy. I, I'm going to tell you something. I'm, there's right now, as we speak, in my personal life, there are people who I work around or work with or in my same field who I know that 40 years ago, just off of their, ethnic, eth, eth, their ethnicity and their, their age, 
and their connections would have been blowing me out the fucking water 40 years ago. Because it was just, you know, it's about who you know. But because they're so lazy, they, they're not even competition. They're not even close. They're not even close. So I, I get excited. But, like, as far as, you know, I look at these people and I say, man, if they only understood that they def- their decisions aren't just affecting them. So, you know, that's my uh, little rant for the day, man. Y'all be easy, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We up.